Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna to be releasing my pet turtle Sheldon into my front yard pond for the very first time. But before we get into that, a few updates on the pond. The six koi that I got still hide during the day and come out as the sun goes down at night. I have been feeding them in the evening and actually last night, a few of them came up to the surface to eat the pellets. So that's improvement. They're getting more comfortable in this pond, but it's probably still gonna be at least a little bit before they start coming out during the day. If you watched my last video, I added a Placo to this pond and I've not seen him since releasing him, but it has only been two days, so I'm sure I'll see him soon. And when I do see him, I'll get it on camera and you guys will see that in an upcoming video. Then as for Larry the crawfish, I saw him two days ago. So not yesterday, but the day before. He was doing good. He also likes to come out at night and hide during the day. So yeah. All is going well in the pond so far. Real quick, let's see if Walter the wasp is home. Oh, he is. What's up, Walter? But anyway, in today's video, like I said, we are going to be releasing Sheldon into the pond. And just so we're clear, Sheldon is not going to be living in this pond permanently. I'm still gonna have him in my 20 gallon long tank in my room, but I do plan on bringing him out to the pond every now and then just to chill, get some natural sunlight. And whenever I do take him out here to the pond, I will keep a very close eye on him just so he doesn't like run away or possibly get trapped in a cave. Even though I don't think any of the caves are really big enough for him to get trapped in, other than the giant fish cave, which it's not possible for him to get trapped in there. But yeah, like all the smaller caves, all should be too small for him to get stuck in. So enough talk, let's now head inside and get Sheldon. And here we are in my room. First of all, the baby bristlenose placos I got in my last video are doing great. They're just straight up chilling in this breeder box so they don't get swooped up by one of these fish. But this is what this video is all about. There he is, Sheldon, bro, it's your big day. Look at him, he's ready. He's like, get me out of here. Or he's like, hey, give me some food. You ready, buddy? You ready to be free? Kinda. Let's grab him. Alright buddy, there he is. Sheldon has definitely gotten much bigger. Let's get him out to the pond. Alrighty guys, got Sheldon right here. I'm gonna put him on this rock. We're gonna get some underwater footage. And here we go. He doesn't know what to do. scared the koi out. He's a lot calmer than I thought he would be. He's gonna have to come up for air eventually. He's been down there a while. Oh, here he comes. Come on, buddy. He's probably so confused. This is like the biggest area he's ever seen. I'm trying not to spook him. Oh, I spooked him. All right, yeah, he is not hungry right now. <laughs> it's probably gonna take at least a few of these pond field trips for him to start eating out here. He just ate something. Oh, he's trying to eat a leaf, bro. Are you serious? Sheldon, I offered you a pellet, and you'd rather eat a leaf? Every time he sees me, he just freaks out. Sheldon, you know me, bro. I'm the one that feeds you. in a few pellets over there. Let's see if he grabs one. Come on, Sheldon, grab one, bro. Sheldon, you really gonna let all the guppies eat your food? Sheldon, one of the pellets is on your head. It's on your head, bro. <laughs> Look, he's literally right in front of the GoPro. Yeah, so this is how I figured this was gonna go. He just seems to be really scared and confused. This is a completely new environment, and I am hoping to bring him out to this pond a few times a week to hopefully get him used to this habitat. But like I said, whenever I do that, I will keep an eye on him so I don't lose him. We're gonna give him just a bit more time to explore the pond before we bring him back into the tank. Don't eat that pellet. Eat it, eat it. Oh, yes, he ate a pellet. Awesome, look. 
All right, well, he did eat a pellet, so that's a good sign. But the next chance I get, I am gonna grab him and bring him back inside. He's in a pretty good spot right now. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I missed him. There he is. Come here, buddy. Oh, 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 got him. All right. All right, Sheldon, let's get you back in your tank. There you go, buddy. He's probably very happy to be back home. I'm gonna give him some food. There we go. And that will hopefully kind of let him know that whenever he goes out to the pond, that he'll get rewarded. So every time he comes back in from being out at the pond, I'm gonna give him some food. So yeah, that pretty much went exactly how I expected it to. Again, it was a completely new environment. He had never been in an area that big before. I do plan on putting him out in the pond, few times a week so hopefully over time he will get more comfortable in there but i hope you guys enjoyed the footage this video is probably pretty short but oh well today's comment of the day goes out to alex jeez man another banging video keep this up and you'll get to one milli soon i feel it thank you alex i appreciate that and that's the dream and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you liked this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i gonna see you in the next video the dumbest thing I'm gonna ask you in my life. I was eating a fry and one of the small pieces of fry landed directly into my eye. Can you, can you check and see if there's like a piece in my eye? <laughs>